If you haven't seen our previous video about proteins, and you want to be extremely wonderful, I suggest you watch that video before this one. It'll definitely help you understand prions and proteins much better. Proteins are obviously extremely important to our everyday life, but what happens when these proteins decide to become a killer? Some proteins, even though extremely rare, can misfold from these really weird proteins called prions. These proteins actually misfold other properly folded proteins, causing an exponential chain reaction of misfolded proteins, and they all end up binding together. In an infected person, these proteins are located in the brain and cause neural issues and death quite quickly. These neurological disorders are known as transmissible spongiform encephalopathies, or TSEs for short. They are a group of the rarest diseases and have the highest mortality rate on the planet, with 100%. There are no known cures and no treatments available. TSEs are extremely scary. Did I mention that these proteins can't be denatured by proteases, enzymes, heat, radiation, and even autoclaves, which heat up to 134 degrees Celsius in a pressurized steam chamber for 18 minutes and are meant to kill any and all bacteria and viruses? So now that I've scared you, how do you get this horrific disease? It's quite complicated and of course more research needs to go into it, but there are several ways we think we can get it. It starts off knowing that there is a cow version of the disease. You've probably heard of it, mad cow disease. If humans eat beef infected with the prions and the prion makes it to the brain, it can start causing the disease. It's also thought that if humans come in contact with manure or urine from the infected cows, they have a chance of being infected with the prions. The cows get it the same way humans do, by eating infected meat. The good news is that the U.S has banned the practice of feeding cattle other cow parts in 1997. Kuru was another version in which human cannibalism can cause it. As gross as this might sound, it's mostly the people who eat the brain. There's also an even rarer genetic version. Personally, I think the genetic version is by far the scariest. It causes progressively worsening insomnia, which leads to delirium and a confused state of dementia. You get so sleepy that you go crazy and eventually die. Luckily, TSEs are extremely rare and only affect about one out of every million people each year. Even though prions and the diseases they cause are extremely scary, we have a lot of preventative measures to keep them hopefully out of the population. More research needs to be done on the prions to understand the ways to combat them and possible treatments for the issues they cause. Just be glad that your proteins didn't decide to go rogue.